All right, let's get this thing started. Make sure the beard is straight. Grays ain't short. All right, all right. It's bright. It's early. Let's get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Uh, make sure the look same chap. You know, sometimes I look back at these videos and I'm like, crap. I should have did this different. Should have took off the shades, but it's too bright out here. But uh, <laughs> what up? I, I still, after all this time, don't know how to start these videos. But whatever. What's up, cousin truckers and YouTubers? It's your boy cousin truck here for another review and you know what you've already seen the thumbnail so let's just get right to it because of the title i know you know what type of vehicle this is but at this angle it's like hey is that a is that a chevy silverado and then you go a little bit to the side and it's like wait a minute is that a chevy tahoe and then you realize no it's actually the big mac daddy the Chevy Suburban. And this here actually is a 2022 Chevy Suburban. I'm not really sure what they did different about the 2022 Chevy Suburbans versus the 2021. But last night when I was walking towards the truck, I did notice that that hood definitely looks a little bit more aggressive. The top hood looks a little bit more aggressive. Uh, the grill has changed a little bit. They had changed the headlights uh years ago so i know that hasn't changed too much but maybe they just changed little accent things for the 2022 chevy suburban and as many of you know like the suburban is a it's a it's a it's an old name like these trucks have been around for a very long time they definitely were not the original suv but i mean i remember suburbans were out before excursions and Yukons and or maybe they came out around the same time but they've been out for a very long time I think they were even out before the Ford Expedition and all that type of stuff at least that's what I think yeah I do I think they were out way before that so the Suburban had always to me been the original SUV and I always kind of liked them a little bit I mean even though they're a Chevy GM product but I still like them to me I felt like uh, since Chevy was trying to compete against the Expedition that's where they made the Tahoe but you know, even now the Expedition is long like a Suburban. So sometimes I'll call the new Expedition the uh, Ford Suburban because it's also very long. You see that R20? That's for the rim size. So this Suburban comes with 20 inch wheels, which man, I remember the big timers. Back in the day when the big timers used to always wrap about 20s. And hey man, 20 inch wheels look humongous. But now in 2022, 20 inch wheels look very tiny maybe because the body of this truck is also so big to me one of my personal favorites is the headlights like i think they really have some very beautiful headlights and even the daytime running lights i have yet to see any of these trucks with fog lights it seems like they must have gotten rid of the fog lights and then of course they have these air vents here now which i don't know if that's to be fancy or to uh save in gas but you know that's a nice little accent i say at certain angles these look just like a tahoe i mean they are just a the tahoe is just a shorter version of the suburban uh but this one here is actually the premier which i was expecting more out of the premier suburban but i think that's just a badge because it still felt kind of basic to me um it does have the quad pipes during certain times when you have to hit the gas, those pipes definitely open up. And then, you know, they got like, and these are the tail lights, which are not that fancy. To me personally, the Yukon and the Escalade's got the best tail lights out of any GM vehicle. You know, they got all the little, they just want to remind you that, but right here, they just want to remind you it's a Chevrolet, it's not a Yukon, it's, it's not a GMC, it's not a Cadillac. And let's try to check out the interior of the vehicle. And as I've told you before, I love cup holders. I love compartment spaces. And this thing here has a ton of compartment space. I mean, just space on top of space on top of space. You know, it's got places you can put all type of things. Definitely a lot of cup holders. Uh, like I said, when I travel, sometimes I take a lot of stuff with me. So it's good to have a lot of compartment space to put things in. I think this here even lifts up. I only had the car for a day, 
so I haven't tried out everything on the or I guess that part doesn't lift up but it does look like they have a little drawer down here which is interesting I guess maybe oh okay that's probably for you to keep your cell phone and things like that I was kind of surprised this part down here doesn't open up to give you more space but that's fine I mean they gave you more than enough compartment space in here even for the passengers in the rear there's a lot of compartment space and there's cup holders here for the rear passengers cup holders over here on the side some of this is going to be kind of tough because yeah this sun the sun ain't playing no games today i'm in beautiful orlando florida and the sun is showing out today which is fine i mean we need a little sunshine and so this here is the interior like i say this is a vehicle that i rented so the only thing that sucks about rental vehicles is you can't learn everything because there's a lot of buttons but i felt like the yukon had way more buttons than this uh, Suburban does. But you know, like I said, as usual, very nice vehicle. Um, I'm not sure exactly how big this screen is. Maybe 12, uh, maybe about 10, nine inches. Yeah, everybody has like the uh, tablet screens now on all the newer vehicles. Let's try to get this baby started. As everyone knows, it's 2022. So basically, everybody has pushed the start now. I'm a little disappointed because I will say this. Last night when I was in this vehicle, the setup, like the dashboard does like these very interesting looking, uh, very interesting looking presentation when you get in the vehicle, but it didn't do it this time. So I don't know if that was because it was at night so this right here is the dash and it's an all digital dash now yeah and i need to add some windshield washer fluid but hey it's not my vehicle so i'm not going to do that let's get to the one thing that everybody probably wonders and that is the gas mileage let me just get to that page yesterday this thing actually did pretty decently on gas but as you can see it gets about 16 miles per gallon and this is a 2022 so I think because it is so new, that is one of the reasons why the gas mileage on it is so good or decent. I'm not gonna say good, but decent because we all know these gas prices right now are definitely out of control. Joe Biden and KK, we need you to jump on that. Right here is the infotainment center. Um, it seems like Google or Android must own a portion of GM because yeah, this, this thing has google news google map so it definitely seems like it's aimed towards towards google or android users and like i say so you can do everything either through the touch screen here but it still has the old-fashioned buttons down here where you can do things and control the radio and things like that <clears throat> and so now let's check out the uh back seat or passenger seats I'm gonna go ahead. I, last year I had reviewed a Yukon and it was, well, it was the Denali, but I remember the side steps raised and lowered. So I was sort of expecting the running board down here to raise and lower since this was a premiere. But you know, this is just a standard running board, almost like an after, I'm not gonna say aftermarket, but you can definitely purchase this running board aftermarket. And so, yeah, I'm sitting in the rear right now. Uh, like I say, all these vehicles now, the air vents, all these vehicles now, the air vents are like up top, which is fine. Because I need to go ahead and turn this air on because it is actually getting nice and toasty out here. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, this is a suburban. You don't expect, hang on, let me turn that air down. But as I said, this is a suburban. So of course, you don't expect, you know, this is a suburban. So of course, you're going to expect, hold on. And my phone is going off and all type of stuff. Let me fix this. All right. This is a Suburban. So, of course, you're going to expect to have more than enough room for a full-size adult. And as I said, I'm 6'2", 285 pounds. And, yeah, this back seat is perfect. Like I say, the fact that this is the Premier, I think that's why it doesn't have, it has the co-pilot seats in the back. I think that's what they call these seats, co-pilot seats. 
Um, I think because this is the premiere version, that's why. So really, this one could really only fit seven people. But I think if you had the maybe normal X uh, Suburban, or if you wanted the uh, bench seats in the second row, it could fit up to eight people. So, and like I said, I, and I, over the years, I've def, over the time, over time, I've definitely realized these type of vehicles are meant for like the passengers. Like this would be the perfect road trip truck. Although the gas prices right now are out of control, but I think this would be a good. And that's what these Suburbans and Expeditions and all these big trucks have always been good for: is road trips and people movers, help you move a lot of people. So. They don't have a ton of control back here. Looks like right here you can only control the AC. I don't even see a way for you to control the radio. Um, and then it has this uh, regular outlet plug down here. So I will say with this being the premier Suburban, I really expected it to have, you know, fancier features but maybe this is as fancy as a premier suburban can get so let me try to now get into the third row seat um without breaking my butt on camera all right so now i'm in the third row seat and i don't feel that squished back here at all like i don't feel claustrophobic i don't feel like i'm stuffed inside a box and uh like i said you probably i mean i am sitting back here by my right now i am sitting back here Right now, I mean, right now I am sitting back here by myself. <laughs> Let me take the glasses off. I mean, right now I am sitting back here by myself. So maybe that's another reason I don't feel squished. But as far as like, I definitely don't feel like I can stretch out back here. But if I was taking a short trip with some people, yeah, it won't be too horrible to sit. Now you probably won't fit three people my size back here, but this uh third row seat isn't too uncomfortable i wouldn't enjoy it on a long trip but for a little short trip to the store or to a event or something like that it wouldn't be too bad so thankfully they do have uh cup holders even back here for the people back here and like i said i think this is definitely meant to be like an android type of vehicle the iphone i don't know if the iphone people can use those but us androiders definitely can use those so let me get from back here now and try not to break my butt um actually hang on i just see i see there's a button right here maybe if i push this button okay there we go so maybe that's why this is the uh premier version of the suburban and then i think if i just pull this thing right here up there we go. So maybe that'll make it easier for me to get out. Or I could have just as easily crawled back through like I did the first time. But let's see. Yeah, all right. I don't know if that was easier, if that was harder. I think if you got some little kids, they might think that's fun to go through like a jungle gym to get out the back of a Suburban. But uh, I probably should have just walked between the center like I did the first time. Yeah, and so maybe that's what makes this the premiere version. Because it, you know, has a lot of this automatic stuff. And these seats are pretty simple to put back up. Um, I think anybody could do that. Alright, so now let's check out the trunk. I have seen videos where... I've seen a couple of times where people have kicked their feet under these vehicles and the trunk, the tailgate just opens. I still haven't found out how to do that yet. So I'm, I still do it the old fashioned way. Uh, you know, sometimes you assume the button is here, but no, it's down here. And like I said, it's 2022. So if your truck doesn't have an automatic tailgate riser, you know what, never mind. Just be thankful for what you have because there's some people out here who don't even have cars. And this is the trunk. So, like I say, you know, this is the Suburban. Of course, it's a very long truck, super long. And this back here, I mean, I, I definitely know it could fit a couple of suitcases. Like, you wouldn't have to worry about folding down that third seat. But, and like I say, I think because this is the Premier version, maybe it has these extra things here. But right here, 
Yeah. You could easily lower down these seats, which would give you a lot of space. And then basically, and then if you were to roll down, if you were to lower down that second row of seats, I think you basically have yourself a Chevy Silverado here, which means you could definitely fit a lot of stuff in it. Now, I don't know if these lift back up by themselves. Let's see. Okay, they do. What always annoys me too, even though they lift back up by themselves, it's always annoying to me that you have to force this thing up. But yeah, that's the infotainment center there. So overall, I feel like this is a very beautiful vehicle. Like it's very nice, um, you know, very nice design. You also have, let me move this stuff up, right? You also have a little bit more extra cargo space down here, but definitely a little bit more. It's not a whole lot. I guess all you can put there is some paperwork. Actually, you know what, that's funny. That's where they hid the manual at. Yeah, for the 2022, and it's funny because it says Tahoe Suburban, which goes to prove that this is basically the same vehicle. All right. And like I said, everything nowadays is automatic. So you just push buttons and things open, things close. So overall, uh, I will say the vehicle handles amazingly. Man, I was on the highway and I was up to like 90, I was, you know, up to about 80 and uh, just such a smooth ride, which of course you expect that. I mean, like I said, with this one, this is a brand new truck. So I wouldn't expect anything but a smooth ride or something like this. Now, we all know gas prices are high and like I say, the gas mileage wasn't horrible. Uh, all I can say is I think if you have a truck like this, what you need to make sure of is that you uh, don't let it get on empty. If you can, just kind of keep the truck half full <laughs> or just, you know, keep like half a tank of gas. Because I think if you fill this thing up from empty, you going to be, you know, well, it's one of those things too. When you get this type of vehicle, you almost can't worry about gas. You got to be one of those people who don't care about gas to get this type of truck. And I love the daytime running lights on it. I think those are very nice. I do think they changed this one a little bit because the hood to me just looks a little bit bolder than some previous versions. And overall, I would definitely say it's a very nice vehicle. I'd say Suburban is a is an old name. It's an old name, but it's still significant to this day, even though it has a lot of competitors. But I think they did a decent job on this Suburban right here. Like I tell people all the time, I am not a professional car person. I just like cars. I mean, I just like cars. And so that's another reason why I decided to just kind of start doing car reviews. Because like I say, I go to a lot of car shows as YouTube has found out. Um, and uh, so yeah, so I always rent a lot of different vehicles. So I decided to just start reviewing some of the vehicles I rent uh, as I travel and go to different places. But if you, have a vehicle out there that you would like cousin truck with his unprofessional i'm not gonna say unreliable but you know basic car review car basic car reviews to review feel free to reach out to me let me know like i said i would need to keep the car for a day or two to really you know tell the people what my true thoughts are about it uh and as usual like i say thank you guys for always watching the videos Please, you know, the usual comment, like, subscribe, share, all that other good old fashioned stuff. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You said subscribe, leave a like. Okay, one other thing. <laughs> I thought I was done, but I'm not quite done just yet. Uh, this is another one of those. Uh, uh, I'm not going to say uh, rants. It's not a rant. It's not a rant. But as some of you know from seeing my posts from a couple of, I don't know when I'm gonna post this video, but from seeing one of my posts, I could not believe that I was diagnosed with Corona for a second time. And now the first time I caught Corona, I swear I didn't even know I had it because I had absolutely no symptoms. But this second time, man oh man, it, 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 it was similar to the flu is the way I can describe it. It was definitely similar to the flu um, I ended up needing to go to the emergency room because I did not think I had Corona. Like I was having all these
body aches and pains and vomiting and all these things. But I didn't think it was Corona. I thought it was, man, I thought I had meningitis. I thought I had some type of mosquito-borne illness. Like, I was, I'm a hypochondriac also. So I thought I was about to get up out of here. So I was like, you know what? I got good insurance. I got a job. I pay my health care. I'm not finna die having insurance. So I decided to go to the emergency room. Long story sh And then they even told me that they were going to test me for COVID. And I'm like, for what? Like, there's no way I have COVID. This is something else. Find out what's wrong with me. Find out why I feel like I'm dying. And uh, yeah, <laughs> a couple of hours later, I got the results back and they said, you have COVID. And I was like, what? COVID? I thought COVID was done. So, you know, <laughs> just to let you guys know. And a lot of people see me at car shows. And, you know, this is the only time y'all really see my face because I'm not obviously around almost anybody but um yeah i wear my mask i still wear my mask because i actually like wearing a mask but that's a whole nother video whole nother s subject um so i so a lot of people when they see me in public i have a mask on all the time so people are like how did you end up with it but i think the one thing i've been slacking on is i haven't been washing my hands the way i used to i used to keep like little hand sanitizer in the car but i stopped doing that so i think that's one of the things i might get back to because they're saying like now covid is becoming like you know just one of these regular things that we're going to be dealing with for a long time so i definitely thank you all all the people who sent up some prayers for me i truly appreciate that i'm not going to even get into faith and stuff like that that's a whole nother video but um yeah like i say I, I guess if anything what i'm trying to say is man covid is still out there and it's just like i couldn't believe i got it but thank god after about two days i was feeling good and even now I'm, I'm actually three days after being, no, about four days after being told I have COVID. And as you can see, I'm able to move around. I'm not too sick. You know, I'm not even sweating that bad. But, you know, kind of made some of the gray hairs in my beard show up a little bit more, maybe from the stress or whatever. But I just want to, yeah, like I say, I'm just, I'm just telling you guys this as a reminder that COVID is still out there. And just protect yourselves. I mean, do whatever you feel like you want to do. But I know as far as me, I'm definitely going to continue to try to protect myself. So, <laughs> like I say, guys, sorry for the rant, but uh, I just kind of wanted to throw that out there as a little bonus. All right, peace. That's recording. You do it. You're the one who wants to do it. You're the one who asked me to record you. Know what you got to say? Uh, why you putting that so cool? You said subscribe, leave a like, and share the video. All right.